Hello, my name is Keshwani. This K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 261 and today is our lesson number 175 let's take a look at it we are given two concentric circles with center O we are given two concentric circles with center O. What does concentric circle mean? Concentric, concentric circle means these circles have the same center, they share the center. Okay, so let's draw two concentric circle. There is the small one and here is the large one. Voila. It's not drawn properly but it's close enough. Don't look at my picture, look at the picture that they give you obviously because that's drawn properly. The large circle we are told has a radius of 12. Large circle has radius of 12. Let's call it R with the subscript L, which is 12. Let's make a note here. R subscript L equals 12. Similarly, a small circle, a small circle has a radius of 7. Let's call it R with subscript S. That's the first thing they ask you, circumference of the large circle, which is very straightforward. Circumference of the large circle, again C with the subscript L for the large circle, is simply 2 pi R, which is 12. 24 pi, very simple, very straightforward. Then they ask you for the area of the small circle. Let's do the area of the small circle and the area of the large circle together because in the last part they're looking for the area of the ring. They're looking for the area of the ring. And area of the ring is simply area of the ring equals the area of the large circle, area of the large circle the area of the large circle minus the area of the small circle and in the second part they're looking for the area of the small circle so we're going to do the small circle and large circles together okay. the area of the small circle is pi r squared which is same as pi times r squared it's a small circle has a radius of 7 so it's 7 squared which is 49 pi Similarly, area of the large circle, even though the part B does not ask for it, we're going to need it in part C, so why is we'll do it? It's equal to pi r squared pi, and the radius of the large circle is 12. 12 squared is 144 squared. 144 minus 49, 144 minus 49, 14 minus 9 is 5, and this will become 13 minus 4 is 9. So there you go. Therefore the part C, how do they phrase it? They don't call it ring. What do they call it? They say area of the shaded region, which I'm calling ring. Area of the ring is equal to the area of the large guy minus the area of the small guy. Area of the large, we just did, we just did that. It's 95 pi equals 95 pi. That's it. That's all it is. We are done. I will see you tomorrow where we'll do the very last problem in this book based on, uh, well not in this book rather, but in, in this section here uh, based on the concept of geometry and then we'll get going on the data analysis. So I'll see you tomorrow where we'll do the question number 14 on page 262. Okay, bye now.